All right, here we're here at Borschlag today. We've got a 2013 Mustang, and we're going to show how to fit 18 by 11 wheels at all four corners. We do a variety of different wheels for the S197 Mustang. Uh, we do an 1810 and an 1811 from Ford Star, and an 1810 from D Force. As you can see, we've got several different wheels here for the Mustang. The 1810 D Force wheel is about 19 pounds. The 1810 F14 Ford Star is about 20, and the 1811 wheel is about 22 pounds. Uh, the 1811 is on the car right now with a 285 tire. It's a bit of a stretch. It could go up to a 315. We tend to run a 295 or 305 on an 11. And right here you can see the 1810 with the same 285 tire. It sits pretty square. With an 18 by 10 wheel, we can rotate the wheel front to back without any problems. With an 18 by 11, we have to have a very different offset on the front and rear wheels. And if you look, we don't mark them, but it's pretty obvious, the pad depth is significantly more on the front wheel than the rear wheel. So you cannot rotate the tires front to back once you go 18-11, but you can run up to a 315 tire, which really helps and it supports the tire. Okay, another place where it can get really close to the wheel is at the end link for the uh, sway bar bracket itself. So sometimes we'll trim that down. The factory end links are really, really long. They will not work. You have to trim them way back. Uh, this is a white line end link, and we've trimmed it back as well. Okay, at this angle, you can see the spindle and strut, and we're looking for the most distance between the wheel and the strut housing itself. And so we have to pull the spindle out relative to the strut to maximize that room. To run the 18 by 11 on the rear of the car, we highly recommend a Watts link. The only place that we have interference with the 18 by 11 is occasionally on this bump that supports the uh, bump stop. With careful adjustment, it, the wheel clears. On our red Mustang, we removed this bump after we changed classes where the rules allowed us to modify the tug. And it's just a few spot welds across the top and across the bottom to remove it from the car and make a lot of adjustments on the car a lot easier. Some people worry about interference with the rear sway bar, which fits right here on the uh, stock car. With 18 by 11, there's clearance for the stock sway bar. This car is configured to have the most room possible with the, sh with the shock gear. It's mounted with the shaft up and the body down, and we don't use a true coilover with the spring here. Using a true coilover in this area takes up a lot of inboard wheel room that's, uh, that we'd rather use for a set of tires. One thing I will note, this is the 1811 on the front of the Mustang. Uh, be careful on what color you choose for your wheels, especially if they're going to see uh, racing brake pads. This has got an aggressive set of Carbotech brake pads, and that doesn't come off anymore. That's as clean as they get. So the darker the color you can go, the better. We tend to use a flat black or gloss black, uh, or a black with a, a flat clear. Works pretty well. Doesn't get so dirty, doesn't it? Okay, this is the back corner with the 1811 Ford Star F14 and a 285 tire. As you can see, there's a little bit of room here, inboard and outboard. Uh, we've run as wide as a 315 on this wheel under stock fenders. Uh, this car has been lowered about two inches, but it's a fairly short tire, the 285 35 18. Uh, we'd probably go with a 295 35 18 or a 305 tire for most street applications.